Hello again all my fellow T-Rexers. I hope everyone's having a great day with a lot of fun. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to my little buddy Link, also known as the Neovenator, and also to his mom, Mommyosaurus. Me and Link have something in common, and you're probably going to have the same thing in common as well. Our favorite dinosaur is, you guessed it, the T-Rex. You know, it's, it's pretty fitting since we're both T-Rexers. What's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, you know, personally, I really think they're all pretty cool. Just like each and every one of you are really, really cool. It's time now for mom and dad to head on out so that we can hear about what Terry and his friends, or maybe even just Terry, has going on today. The last few days have been very hectic for Terry. Uh, he had a test at school that made him really nervous. There was some repair work going on at his house that created a lot of racket, just a lot of noise. And he recently had a really fun but exhausting sleepover with his friends, Ozzy and Andy. With everything that was going on, Terry's tics were going crazy. But you know what? Sometimes there just aren't enough ticks. And Terry came down with a migraine headache. This wasn't fun for Terry. And he, and he knew when it was going to happen. First, he couldn't focus his eyes on anything. To him, everything looked like he was underwater or that there was spots in front of his eyes everywhere that he looked. It almost looked like he was looking through his fingers and had things blocking his vision. Right before his eyes went back to normal, Terry started to feel sick to his stomach. Oh, he had to run to the bathroom because he was afraid he was going to throw up. Sometimes he does, and sometimes he doesn't. But he would rather just be safe than sorry. He doesn't want to risk it. When his eyes finally cleared up, Terry started to feel the pressure and the pain building in his head. Light, it only makes things stronger. That's why I got the lights out here, because I don't want to hurt him at all. Oh, so, you know what? Terry did all he could to shield his eyes from the light, whether it's blocking them when he's walking out in the sun or whatever he has to do. Sometimes when Terry has his migraines, he even has a difficult time talking. He can't form the words that he wants to say, and it sounds like he's speaking in a different language. The signals from his brain to his mouth just aren't working right, and he may be saying, have a good day, and it comes out to, it's, and, and he doesn't even know what, he's, what he says, what's coming out of his mouth. And that gets scary for Terry and even the people around him. They're really concerned about him. Well, when this happened to Terry, he was at school, uh, so he asked if he could go see the nurse. And she let him lay down on the cot that's in her office, and she turned off the lights so Terry could try and relax. Then she did like a good nurse does, and she called Terry's mom and told her that Terry needed to go home. So when Terry got home, oh my goodness, he went straight to bed. He did not feel like eating or playing or anything. The only thing he wanted to do was close his eyes and go to sleep. But you know what? When Terry woke up, his headache was gone and he was back to being himself, ticks and all. He was actually happy to have his ticks back. Uh, he was very relieved that the migraine was gone and Terry wishes that he never had them because they take away from the time that he could be doing other things like playing with his friends. I mean, that's what life's about, isn't it? So if you get headaches like Terry, do me a favor and make sure that you tell your parents or you know, even the school nurse if that's where you're at so that they can help you feel better. Uh, being in pain is not fun and Everyone wants to see you running around and playing happily like kids are supposed to do. 
Studies have shown that people with Tourette's syndrome suffer migraines approximately four times as uh, more often than those without Tourette's. Uh, there's still some ongoing studies to find the correlation and what causes them. If your child suffers from migraines, along with Tourette's, please talk to your doctor so that they can help provide information and possibly even prescribe some medication that will help ease the symptoms. If your child is on medication for Tourette's, make sure that the doctor is aware of it so uh, they don't prescribe something that may have an adverse reaction with their current medication. Okay gang, make sure you give your parents a great big hug and thank them for letting you learn more about Terry and his T-Rex. Tell them that you love them. So time for that fist bump, bang. And this is Megalodon saying goodbye for now. Later, tater.